I'm Callie. You're watching the weekly show here at CRK Training. And I'm here today with Ruger, one of our school horses, and also with Andrea, who has come here all the way from Puerto Rico to um, do some riding here at the farm and has also agreed to uh, be our model for today's video. <laughs> so we just finished a jumping lesson with Andrea and Ruger. And we're gonna show something that we were working on, which was how we can practice our jump position when we're not actually jumping, when we're just standing still or when we're walking. And there's a few key points that are really essential for effective jumping. The first one is having soft joints through our hip, our knee, and our ankle. That's really necessary in order for us to be able to fold effectively with a horse. And it's especially important to have that uh, movement and that fold at the hip joint. One of the things that will really hinder your jumping is if you learn to push off the stirrup. And surprisingly, the way that we often practice our two point when we're getting ready to learn jumping or when we're just practicing in between actually does the opposite of these essentials. So the way that a lot of people learn to practice two point is standing up in the stirrup. So go ahead and show us what that looks like. And I'm just gonna ask Ruger to shift here a little bit so that we've got a more of a side view. So you can see Andrea's um, come up of the, off of the saddle in order to do the two point. And she's doing a good job, but in order to come off, she's had to push down against the stirrup, which has put a lot more pressure on her ankle, her knee, and her hip. And it's also made it a lot harder for her to maintain a flat back. So you can see here that her back started to arch, and she's also got some weight down on the neck with her upper body kind of collapsing a little bit towards the neck. And a lot of this is just the um, kind of a side effect of pushing off of the saddle because, you can go ahead and sit down again, uh, when we're actually working the two point in the gates that have some suspension, or most importantly, during jumping, the actual suspension of the horse during the jump, the push during the jump, is what folds us down. So if we practice pushing ourselves up, we're actually practicing a pattern that's not gonna be effective when we go to do the jump. So when you're practicing without the, um, the extra movement of trot, canter, and jumping, when you're just practicing at standstill or at walk, then we just wanna have a little fold forward from the hip. So go ahead and show us that position. So you'll see the first thing she did is she let her hips come a little further back in the saddle. And there was a moment that she had to push on the stirrups to do that, but then she let that, that little push go so that the weight is now resting here on her thighs. We're just gonna reset him so that he's a little bit more of a side view for you again. Oh. And Andrea, you wanna just think about, let your lower back come a little flatter, good. So that the fold is just from here and you don't even have to fold that far down. So come back up again, like all the way back up to your regular sitting position, all the way back up, good. And here your back's nice and flat, just fold down a tiny little bit. Good, and that's plenty. And then from there, notice how she just pushed her knuckles into the neck, but instead of letting her weight go onto those, her knuckles and her hands there, she pushed off a little bit. So she's actually using this little push and the stabilizing of the knuckles against the neck to stabilize her upper body. And again, here, as we're just standing, we've got weight on the thigh. We still have her, um, her leg underneath her and she's in a much better position to be able to um, practice at halt and walk, finding this little fold and feeling the weight on the thigh and the press against the neck to maintain a really good position for effective jumping. We have several new online courses coming out soon that are focused specifically on jumping for training both the rider, working on the position like we were just practicing here with Andrea and also for training the horse. But I would love to know what is something that you find the most difficult about jumping? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, that's where all of our best conversation happens and where I can see your questions. So go there, leave a comment, um, tell me what is that most difficult thing that you found with jumping. And I really look forward to seeing you there and seeing you in our next video.